With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So we are given with a question which says there are two wires W1 and W2 having same radius R and respective densities as uh, rho1 and rho2. Here it is given as P1 and P2 such that P2 is equals to 4 P1. They are joined together at point O as shown in the figure. The combination is used as a sonometer wire and kept under tension T. The point O is midway between the two bridges. When a stationary wave is set up in the composite wire, the joint is found to be a node. All right. The ratio of the number of antinodes formed in W1 to W2 is. So uh, in the question, it's been given that here a node is been formed and we are interested in finding the number of antinodes. So uh, for antinodes, we have to be careful that antinodes are those points where the displacement is maximum. Alright, so if we uh, try to draw it over here, let's suppose there are two fixed support and a stationary wave has been set uh, on this. So we can say this point is the antinode point and these two points are the nodes point. Alright, so uh, we can see from here uh, in one loop, there is, uh, there is one antinode. Alright, so uh, we, accordingly we can check in two loops there will be two antinodes. So, uh, as the number of loops increases, number of antinodes increase. So, uh, it's been given that in, at this point a node is formed. So, if we consider uh, one loop is formed on either side, so we can say that there will be uh, the antinode form will be 1 over here, 1 over here. And similarly, we can uh, it depends upon the property of wire since the density of the wires are given different. So we can say here there will be a different number of loops formed and here there will be a different number of loops. So we have to calculate basically the ratio of loops and accordingly we can say that uh, that will represent the number of antinodes. Alright, so just for the sake of understanding I have drawn one one loop over here. Uh, actually we don't know how much loop will be formed in the wire 1 and wire 2. So let's check. It, this was just for the sake of understanding. So uh, we can say uh, this is the case in which a string is tied on both the end. So we know about the fundamental frequency in this case it is given by the formula 1 over 2L under root of T by mu. Where T is the tension in the wire, mu is the linear density or we can say mass per unit length and L is the length of wire. So from this uh, if we generalize this, this is uh, the basic case or we can say the fundamental case which is belonging to this case only that is in which one loop has been formed. So uh, in the next case we can say when there is two loop formed so here we have to just multiply it with two. When three loops are formed just we have to multiply it with three. So we can generalize this. So we can write P upon 2L under root of T by mu. So P is the number of loop over here that will represent uh, the number of antinodes only. Alright, so uh, for the first wire we can say now, uh, if we also, if we uh, just manipulate this formula a bit, so we can write uh, frequency will be equals to P by 2L under root of T by mu. Mu is nothing but it is mass per unit length. So mass can be written as rho into V. So if you uh, resolve it completely, so we can write this as mass per unit length if L is the length of wire to be taken. So from here if we substitute M as rho into V finally the result we will get is T upon pi R square into rho. So this is what the uh, result we will get finally. Alright so let's say this is our equation number 1. This is the main equation we are going to use further. So now for uh, wire 1 we can say uh, the number of so now from here we can say uh, n that is a node that is a fundamental frequency for both the wires that is wire 1 and wire 2 will be the same because the wire is continuous as the wire is joined at point O. So we can write from here uh, n comma tension in the wire radius and length remains constant. So we can say rem these quantities remains constant therefore we can have a relation p by under root p is over here number of loop density that is under root rho is that uh, density will be a constant 
so from here we can say p1 upon rho 1 root rho 1 upon p2 is equals to p2 upon root rho 2 so from here we can say uh, the ratio of p1 by p2 that is number of loop in wire 1 upon number of loop in wire 2 will be equals to rho 1 upon rho 2 and as per the given question we have been given that rho 2 or p2 is 4 p1 so we can write here it can be written as uh, rho 1 upon 4 rho 1 or this comes out to be 1 by 2 so this is the uh, number of loops we are getting or basically we can say number of anti nodes that is uh, that are coming in the ratio 1 is to 2 so this matches with option 2 i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today